Did civilians really have a picnic during a battle? The American Civil War. The year was 1861 and the American Civil War had begun. The Confederacy had been victorious at Fort Sumter in April and now the next battle at Bull Run was taking place. The men, women, and children who made up the wealthy elite of Washington came out in their carriages out of curiosity to follow the Union Army on July 21st, 1861 to Centerville, Virginia. They were eager and curious to see a battle, so found a good spot to spectate from, spread out their blankets, and opened their picnic baskets and champagne. Beyond the picnickers who had come to spectate like they were watching a sports game were congressmen and journalists who wanted to keep an eye on the progress of the war for the Union firsthand. Even food sellers came along who saw the event as a great opportunity to make a quick buck. On the other side, too, Confederate soldiers received lemonade from Southern women. When the battle began, it looked like the Union would win, but by the afternoon, Confederate reinforcements soon turned the tide and created a panic that forced a disorderly retreat. The sight of fleeing Union troops caused the spectators to panic and run away. This caused chaos on the roads leading back to Washington as crowds of civilians got hold of the first carriage they could find. The chaos was so much that the Union Army and its ambulances were blocked by the panicking civilians and their fancy carriages. Michigan Senator Zachariah Chandler tried to block the road to stop the retreating Union soldiers. Senator Ben Wade of Ohio picked up a rifle and threatened to shoot any soldier who ran. While Senator Henry Wilson was giving out sandwiches to the soldiers, Confederate artillery destroyed his buggy, forcing him to escape on a stray mule. The Confederate Army decided not to push on and pursue the retreating Union Army to Washington, D.C. and return to the South. It does seem strange that people would choose to have a picnic to watch a real battle, so why did it happen? One of the reasons that the wealthy elite thought it would be a good idea was because like most people at the time of the war, they believed it would be over quickly. The American Civil War would actually last for four years. They also thought the battle would go without much bloodshed and that one side would break and run for it. The majority of the spectators, it is also noted, were out of harm's way on Centerville Heights, five miles from the fighting. Subscribe for more history videos. Get Simple History, The American Civil War, today.